Jurgen Klopp can't hide his frustration as Liverpool fail to put Burnley away at Anfield. Photo Reuters Jurgen Klopp is closing in on his two-year anniversary at Anfield and though there has been clear progress, his project has been held back by two consistent failings conceding goals too easily and failing to break down deep link defences. This draw with Burnley provided a microcosm of Liverpool's problems. Sean Dyke's side are exactly the sort of team that Klopp's Liverpool have struggled against and this was the type of result that is priced at long odds on a bookmaker's board but always seems so predictable in hindsight. Burnley's Scottish-born Canadian midfielder Scott Arfield's second L celebrates with teammates after scoring the opening goal. Photo Getty Images Burnley scored with the first shot on target, with Scott Arfield exposing more poor defensive play to put the visitors ahead. Liverpool responded through Mohamed Salah, but failed to find the second, despite racking up 34 attempts in total. Yet, for all the supremacy, they never led at any point. They were unlucky, perhaps, not to see a late flurry of chances produce a winning goal, but by the final whistle, Anfield regulars were left asking the usual questions. Klopp made seven changes from the frustrating midweek draw with Sevilla and having received a warm reception from the Anfield crowd as a substitute that night, Philippe Coutinho made his first start since attempting to force through a move to Barcelona. His invention in the centre of the park would be needed without Sadio Mane, who served the first part of his three-match ban for his dangerous challenge on Manchester City goalkeeper Edison at the Etihad had a week earlier. Philippe Coutinho of Liverpool attempts to get past Jack Hawke of Burnley. Photo Getty Images Burnley, meanwhile, were also arguably without the best player. Tom Heaton underwent surgery on an injured shoulder earlier this week and was replaced in goal by Nick Pope. The pattern of play was established early on, with Liverpool enjoying near total control of possession as they searched for ways through. One Maisie Joel Matip run almost did the trick, but when the centre-back slipped in Salah, the Egyptian was tripped by James Tarkovsky. The cop appealed, but referee Roger East was not listening. For all the host's dominance, Dyke will have been confident that his side needed just one chance to take the lead and so it came to pass. After a long punt at the back, Trent Alexander-Arnold was too easily beaten in an aerial duel with Robbie Brady. Matip and Ragnar Klavan were drawn to the wing as high, looping header and only once they had each failed to collect the loose ball, they realised they had a Burnley man free on the edge of the area. It could not have been easier for Arfield, who slotted first time pass to helpless Minule. Liverpool were back on terms four minutes later, when Emre Kans lofted ball over the top fan Salah, who managed to squeeze a shot between two Burnley bodies and inside Pope's near post. Anfield celebrated, more in relief than joy. Klopp's side came close to finally taking the lead in the closing stages. First, Alexander-Arnold's volley was stopped by Pope's chest, but the teenager was undeterred. After seeing Salah denied a penalty from a hefty Ben Mee challenge, he played on and crossed for substitute Dominic Silanke, who hit the crossbar while attempting to open his Liverpool account. It was his side's best chance of the second half but it was too little too late. Independent Sunday Indo Sport.